friends, this is uh, the Midi Man again, coming back at you from Walker's Music with another word for today. But mind you, today's going to be a little bit different. We're going to come at you from a different angle. Today we are, we are going to set aside a special moment at the top of this here. We're going to talk about musicians today. We're going to talk about the music and where it uh, has place. And we've got a lot of arguments about the music in the church and whatnot, in which I don't like to get into debates of argument, has no place in bickering, you know, just unfruitful. So I try to stay out of that as much as possible. But in light of the Word of God, I always base my final decision on the Word of God. And uh, I'm asking all musicians, uh, ministers of music, uh, regular lay people in the music, whatever you just, if you don't do anything but just pass out the hymns, you still helping. So you're part of the music ministry as well. No big you and little eyes, or little big eyes and little you's. All of us. So we're just gonna be, we're just gonna be musicians today. Uh, we're gonna. I'm asking all musicians to uh, let's pray for our president, uh, President Barack Obama. Um, he's got a, a, a lot of responsibility because with the decision that the White House made reflects essentially the whole world. So it's a pressurized job. So we need to pray for our president. And uh, it's pretty fun that God will help him make the right decision. I mean, we can do all the criticize and all this, put all that up there beside. It's just a, the one, number one thing, what it all boils down to, let's just do the right thing. And we, I'm asking all musicians, all of you, uh, from YouTube to Bluetooth, let's pray for our president and that God will continue to bless his family, him and his family, and that he will make the right decisions. We need to pray for that. So that said, we're going to talk about us musicians. A lot of controversy has arisen the last year, latter years about musicians and whether or not, you know, they should be in the church or they should get paid and you know, you've heard, I've heard a lot of different things about that too. But before I go into the what the Bible has to say about it, I want to say something that, and I want to commend, I want to commend some people that I feel that should be co commended. Um, these people, in my opinion, since I've been on the net, I've seen them do more to help and to reach out to budding musicians than anybody I know. Uh, I first of all, I, it's in, 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 in the way I name them, it is no, it is, it is no. Don't let that be in, in it's uh, in order of importance by the way in the number I, the way I name them because that's not the case. All of them are very important from what I've seen, and all of them is outstanding and dynamic in their own unique way. Um, we just, just to top it all off, I think, let's just go ahead on this name, and I'm if I miss any name, if you know any of, of others that are doing the same thing, please let your voice be heard. But these are the ones that I know for a fact that, are, that have reached out to many of musicians uh, number one we, that has come to mind is hear and play automatically. That was one of the ones that I noticed right early on in my internet experience. Well, Jermaine Griggs and there where I also was uh, met uh, the Hammond Man, uh, Jermaine Hartwell, Sam Tolbert, just great guys that 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 helped continuously, I mean continuously, they never cease to stop putting up videos to help the regular budding musician. My bro, my, my buddy out there in Dallas, Texas, JT, Jerome Thompson, just, 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 just putting out videos on help and tutorials and stuff that giving the budding musician a chance to learn some of the cool stuff. I mean, that's priceless. I mean, they, that, that is priceless. But they are doing it out of the depth of the goodness of their heart. And I mean, 
not even asking anything in return. Not really. Because what they are giving is really priceless. So I said that. And I wanted to give all of them their shout out. Now I'm quite sure there's plenty more. One in particular, I know my, my buddy David Sprunger, very outstanding musician, very outstanding. Mr. Booth and all of them, and, and it's countless others, but I just want to give all of them their shout out. But let's tackle this thing. Let's see what the scripture says. We be talking about musician getting paid and whatnot. Well, it said, if a man didn't work, neither should he eat. That's scripture too. But nevertheless, we got a lot of people with their hands out. And that's able to work, it won't. So let's see what the word has to say about musicians. And this just just scratching the surface, but I wanna these were two particular scriptures that I wanted to make certain that I enlighten you on. If you go to First Chronicles, ninth chapter, and you go there at the thirty-third verse. First Chronicles, ninth chapter, thirty-third verse. This is what it reads, and it said, And these are the singers, chief of the fathers of the Levites, who remaining in the chambers were free, for they were employed in that work day and night. Wow! They were what? Employed in that work day and night. Now you got some people think, being a musician is not work. Hmm. That, that, that blows that out of the water, don't it? They were employed day and night. And they were what? Singers. They were singers. So now, we see immediately that blows that theory out the door about musicians not being paid. I mean, it, it blows it out the door. Now, we got another scripture we're going to read for you. Go to the 23rd chapter of 1 Chronicles. And let's look at the... Well, i tell you what. Let's just read... Let's just read the uh, 23rd chapter. Hopefully our time won't run out on us. So when David... Starting at 21st verse. It says, So when David was old and full of days, he made Solomon his son king over Israel. And he gathered together all the princes of Israel with the priests and the Levites. Now the Levites were numbered from the age of 30 years and upward. And their number by their pole, man by man, was 30 and 8,000. Of which 20 and 4,000. And 24,000 were to get forward the work of the house of the Lord. And 6,000 was officers and judges. Moreover, 4,000 were porters, doorkeepers. And 4,000 praised the Lord with the instruments which I made, said David, to praise therewith. Oh, David chose 4,000 and gave them instruments that he made to praise therewith. Employed. That's employment, people. The Levites. So where do we get this sense that Minstrels, it's not working. People, we need to read scripture. We need to understand a worker, a laborer is worth of his hire. 4,000, not 400, 4,000, and they were skillful. That's how come I give JT and Jamal Hartwell and uh, Jermaine Hammerman, all those guys, uh, Sam, that teaches skillfully, skillfully, and all of all of us musicians, all of us ministers, ministers of music, we should want to be skillful. If we are not, you should be employing yourself daily to be skillful. With that said, we're gonna cut it. It's not all I got to say, but for time, I'm gonna cut it right here. But I shall return. This is the Midi Man saying peace and goodbye.